Good morning guys, Raif Durazi here. So here's the thing, every once in a while I get a comment from someone who is earnestly trying to start in the gym and they just don't know how or where to start or especially how to find the motivation. It can be very difficult in the beginning to find the motivation and the willpower to get out of bed in the morning and go to the gym. Or if it's not in the morning, in the afternoon, evening, whenever you go, but that first step, getting your gym clothes on, getting in the car, going to the gym, that first step can be the thing that holds you back from even starting your fitness journey. A lot of people are intimidated because there's so many different machines and so many like different free weights and benches and exercises and different muscle groups that you can work out. It's like, where do you start? It's daunting, it's overwhelming, I get it. So the idea of dragging yourself to even go, it's easy to talk yourself out of going to the gym too, especially when you're feeling tired and you're not necessarily feeling it in your body. Body. That was something that I really had to get over in the beginning and I thought, you know, like what can I do to trick myself into going to the gym? How do I do that? Well, I at some point I decided I want to try pre-workout because a lot of people recommended it You know, I saw it on YouTube videos people take pre-workout before they go to the gym to get energy and to get that boost of blood circulation and it helps with the workout and you can lift more and lift for longer and all of that so I tried it out and I noticed that you know once the pre-workout kicked in I felt great motivated I was excited I could feel like just the energy pumping through my body and I realized when I feel like that I like I want to go to the gym I'm like excited I'm amped to get to the gym and start lifting weights pumping iron <laughs> <laughs> I thought if I can just get myself in that headspace and my mind feeling that way when I have to go to the gym, that's no problem. That'll be easy because I'm itching to go. So at the time when I was starting to go to the gym, I would go in the morning after I woke up. And mornings are hard for me. It's hard for me to get out of bed. That's something I still wrestle with today, but I've gotten a lot better at it. However, I thought, okay, if when I take this pre-workout, I feel like amazing, like I'm like the Hulk. <laughs> and in the morning, my issue is that I don't feel like it. I feel tired and groggy and I'm not motivated and it just, it's so easy for me to talk myself out of going to the gym. So I thought, why don't we combine the two and use pre-workout as my motivation to get out of bed and go to the gym. For a while, I was like, okay, I'll just get out of bed and, and take some pre-workout and go to the gym and that'll be great. Tried that. Problem was, I'd be lying there in bed and I'd be like, I'm so comfortable, I don't wanna get out of bed. I just wanna lay here for like 10 more minutes, 30 more minutes, <laughs> until I'm like, okay, well it's too late now. Now the time has gone by, I'll just try again later, or go tomorrow, or whatever. Didn't work. So then I thought, okay, well if I can't get myself up out of bed to go get pre-workout and to go get myself in the groove to go to the gym, how can I make this as easy and quick and simple as possible so that I can just wake up, have that energy, and go? And that's when I decided to literally have the pre-workout ready on my nightstand next to my bed. So I would have a glass of water, just chill in there, ready to go. Then I would have my pre-workout. Right now I take pre-gym, that's my go-to pre-workout. So I would literally, I'd get a scoop of pre-workout, just like that, ready to go. And I would set it down on my nightstand, and then I'd have a cup or shaker or whatever, filled with water, ready to go, and I'd sit it on my nightstand next to the pre-workout. And so when I woke up, I told myself, the only thing you have to worry about and do right now is put the little thing, a little scoop, into the cup of water, and then all you have to do is drink it. That's it. Don't worry about going to the gym. Don't worry about getting out of bed. Don't worry about anything else besides Pre-workout, water, drink, that's it. And I can do that while I'm lying in bed and feeling comfortable and cozy and I don't have to get up. Easy. That is what really made the difference for me because I could lie in bed, I was in bed, I didn't have to get up out of bed, I didn't have to be uncomfortable. All I had to do was mix a little drink, it tastes good, I would drink it and then within 10 minutes, my juices were flowing, I had caffeine going, I was starting to feel like blood pump and like stuff was happening and like I was waking up and by that time I was itching to go to the gym. I was like excited to go. So I would jump out of bed, get ready, go to the gym, 
boom, done, did it. So that was like, that was my hack that I figured out. Setting the pre-workout in the water next to my bed, ready to go first thing in the morning so that when I woke up, all I had to do was mix it, drink it, and then the pre-workout would do the work. I didn't have to worry about talking myself into it, finding the motivation, forcing myself out of bed. Because as soon as the pre-workout kicked, it was like, okay, I'm ready to go. Like, let's go. Um, I, I, need to, I, I need to go bench press something. I need to go lift something heavy. <laughs> that is my little tidbit of advice. That is what really made the difference in the beginning for me. And you know, pre-workout isn't right for everybody. Not everybody wants to have a supplement like pre-workout. Some people are like, oh, you know, I don't want to mess with pre-workout. I would just rather drink coffee. You could have the same idea for that. You could have, if not hot coffee, because you might have to get out of bed and go to a coffee pot to actually get your coffee. And that might be something that just doesn't work Maybe you could have like a cold brew, prepackaged, ready to go, sitting next to your bed. Something, anything that will is gonna give you energy and, and like really wake you up and fast and just have that ready to go next to you on the side of your bed. Of course, this isn't the only way to get motivation to go to the gym, but for me, it really, really worked because on a chemical level, it just got me ready to go. I'm an overthinker. I'm able to think my way out of things if there's any kind of like fear involved or if I just don't want to, it's easy for me to like manipulate myself through thoughts to get myself out of doing things that I, I need to do or that I really want to do in the long term. So this is something that's very visceral and it's in my body, it's chemical, and it's just like, okay, go, just do it. I hope this is helpful for you. If this is something you've never tried, I definitely recommend trying it. But if you're really just starting out and you just can't seem to get yourself out of bed and can't get yourself to have the motivation to go get to the gym, this might be a great way to start that process and, and get your body and your mind used to getting out of bed and going to the gym first thing in the morning. Of course, now I'm at the point where if I don't go to the gym, I. I feel like I'm missing something or my day feels off, right? So now it's like, it's a part of my process and a part of my day. I, this is not something that I need to do and I haven't needed to do it for a long time because now I actually just crave going to the gym and I love hopping out of bed and the idea of going to the gym feels really good. I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you are having trouble with gym motivation or if you found another solution, another way that you're able to get yourself to go to the gym on a regular basis. Let me know, I'd love to hear it. Uh, leave a comment down below. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.